Try it out. No, he could do it. I, I trust him. The, he, he, I found him. <laughs> if he says it's good, it's good. Yeah, a lot steadier. I just want to make sure it returns to home. So what firmware did it have and what firmware does it have? Well, you had, uh, you had flight control firmware 1.1.21 um, and receiver 1.2.3 and you also had transmitter 4.2.8. Now what it should have right now is 1.1.21 uh, for flight control. 1.2.12 for receiver and transmitter 4.2.9. Okay. Wow, that's incredibly steady uh, than what it was. The lights are different. So basically now, if you return home, the lights will change. Okay. So that that's the return home configuration of the LED lights. Now with the firmware update that he just did, mm -hmm. what uh, what's the distance? Uh, Normally, if you didn't change, if you don't change the antennas or mod the antennas to make them more effective, then it's about 300 meters at the very least. We've flown 500. I got 1,400 meters. Did you change after you changed the antennas? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's test the range out. Okay. We have enough electricity for it. Let's test the range out. Ready, go. Most of our form is about 800, 900 meters at about a height of 250, 300. Right. Which is really far. <laughs> for for going that high. The other antenna, the um, patch antenna gets a greater distance than the much better uh, with the patch antenna the hub sewing patch? N uh, no I think I, I bought it from Banggood or yeah. something like that of course it would does Hubson have a patch antenna? yes but it's usually for FPD1 okay deluxe transmitter right well that one's really nice is it? It is really nice. Like, I fly, I love flying with it. I love flying with the standard transfer to begin with, but I love the FPV one. Oh, yeah, that's got to be yeah. it's so precise on it. Yeah, and it's. Let's see. He just, when he hit return home right there, there was a little bit of interference, so he had to switch the transmitter off to get it to. Ah, it. see, that's what, I'm, that's what I had to do, too. Yeah. Doesn't it auto adjust? No? Uh no. The frequency? No?
an entirely different set. It's not the same as the 501S because of the FPV. Big difference. What if someone were to update the firmware to 1.1, what is it, 1.1.21 onto the 501C? No? <laughs> no. There's an entirely different firmware set. I, 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 think, I think I might have done that. You did? I think so. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll have to check that out. Like, you, you want me to go get the other antenna? Um, have one knee of you, I'll hop on. You might go with the embossed and they get a change in The patch? Sure. Okay. Like said, the, the transmitter has gotten mm -hmm. with arming and disarming. You don't run into that trouble at all with that BB-1. And also the feeling of it in your hands as well as the movement. It's got to be, huh? Because it's thinner, it's smaller, it's different size? Well, it's a better, it's a better quality. It's made much Could better. Could I buy one from you guys? We don't have them in the media warehouse, unfortunately. Bummer. <laughs> you could buy it from the Chinese warehouse. Mm -hmm. it, it, well, that would take you a long time it to does, get over huh? here. It does, huh? What do they cost? Um, 75 plus 18 for shipping. That's all? That's nothing. From us. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Huh? Let's try this. This one, you should get some distance. I got 1,400 meters. With he says that there was some dude in China mm -hmm. who modded it, who modded the transmitter until you could fly up to almost about 2,000 meters. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, there's some there's some people on the internet, on YouTube that have gotten pretty far. I hear it. I don't see it. I have another one. Do you want to see it? Another antenna like that? I think he's taking a look at it. Okay. I personally wouldn't recommend flying it um, at any at wind speeds any further than five to ten miles per hour. Either one of these? Either one of these. They're about the same size. Um, just about the same motors. Five one C might be a little is a little bit. Um, is not as um, powerful as the 501S, but they're just about the same. Right. Would not. We had one person who, for some reason, flew his at around 35 winds of 35 miles per hour. That's crazy, huh? And expected us to replace his. Oh, it crashed. Flew away. Oh, it flew away. yeah, they do. I've had two of the 501S's fly away, uh -huh. but but I've never crashed either one of them. Yeah, interference. Compass issues. Not bad. You're a good boy, aren't you? So what do you think of that one? Not Pretty, bad, not bad at all. Not bad? Hmm? What's he checking for yes. when he does that? Okay, he says that the shell on the 501C is softer than the one on the S. If you change the shell from the one that you have now to the one that is on the S, mm -hmm. it'll be even more stable. Really? Yes. Here, you can, you can feel it. Wiggle, wiggle the arm mm -hmm. on this a little bit. And now wiggle this one. This one seems firmer though. No? Oh, you said it's 
He said he's. I'm sorry. It's the other way around. Okay. So if you were to change the shell to the one they use, this one is for it's stronger, huh? Yeah. It it does look that way, huh? Does he does he feel does it feel like it's like it's something's loose or something? No. He said you you have not felt like something is loose. He says that um, before mm -hmm. there was an addition of sort of an, uh, an endoskeleton inside mm -hmm. um, that would help support the motors and whatnot. 